Wow. Do y'all see what I'm seeing over there? This is definitely different and unlike anything we have seen before. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, we are here in Elkhart, Indiana at this event that they call in the industry RV Open House or RV Expo. It's actually a closed to the public event. It's more for dealerships to come and see what is new for the new year models. All these manufacturers put everything on display and dealerships place their orders on products that they want to have on their lots at their dealership. So, this here is a pretty special event. I'm glad to be here. And we are here in the Heartland display taking a look at this Heartland Bighorn. And this is something really unique. Now within the Heartland hierarchy, their highest end fifth wheel is the Heartland Landmark. And then right below that is the Bighorn. So this is their second highest end product line that they offer. And this is a eight or a, sorry, a 3820 RKFB. So rear kitchen front bath. It is a full profile fifth wheel. It is a huge fifth wheel. You can see the roof line is straight all the way across the top, has a full profile front cap, has a drop frame down underneath. It embodies everything that a full profile fifth wheel is. So it's a pretty dang impressive model here. Now, if I'm able to find it, I will put the floor plan layout and the specs on the screen here because right now we don't have any um, literature displayed to show those. So hopefully this floor plan is on the internet right now, but this looks like this has got to be brand new for 2024. I don't recall ever seeing something like this in 2023. So really excited to show you all this. As we go through this as well, because this is not a sales event and no RVs are being sold here, there's also no pricing listed. So I do not have exact pricing information, but if I am able to find something, I'll put it down below in the description of this video. So again, you have a full profile front cap. That Bighorn logo there looks like it is a chrome graphic. So it's going to have that reflective material there and looks really nice. You have a Kurt Rotoflex pin box. This is going to have a rubber bushing in it. So when you brake and accelerate, that is going to give you more shock absorption there and a more comfortable towing experience. Coming down underneath here, spot for batteries in here. This is all of your wiring components coming into this one Vault XL box. Really nice, actually keeps everything a little bit more confined and concise keeps everything looking more organized and there's color coordinated wiring back behind that box. So if you're ever doing any electrical troubleshooting or taking it in for service for somebody to do electrical troubleshooting, speeds up that process, either saves you time or saves you money. You have your inverter here as well and your hydraulic fluid for a hydraulic um, auto leveling system and probably a hydraulic slide out as well. Underneath here, lots of storage space, I mean, See through there, you got quite a bit of storage. Let's try that again. Camera was looking a little fuzzy. Lots of storage through there. There we go, that's a little bit better look. So good wide open space there. All you have is some plumbing and electrical lines that are going through there, nothing crazy. And down underneath here you are prepped. Well, this compartment is ready to add a generator. It doesn't look like the wiring is here though for a generator. So you would also need to have wiring installed to get a generator in there, but that does have the compartment for the generator. Let's go to the non-camp side real quick so we can look at the exact specs. So from this sticker here, we can see the gross vehicle weight rating is 16,500 pounds. That is with a 2,620 pound cargo carrying capacity. So the unloaded vehicle weight on this, there should be a sticker inside the door that we should be able to find, but gonna be somewhere around like 13,900 or so. You have this Dexter tow assist, so this is new. This has an electric ABS brakes, so that's gonna be an anti-lock braking system. You have a towable odometer, that's something that's new as well because RVs typically do not have any sort of odometer on them or at least your towable RVs. And then you have sway mitigation on here as well. So I don't know a whole lot about this. You can see the Dexter tow assist thing right here and I can't wait to learn more about that, but I've seen it on quite a few models. 30 pound propane bottle here in this compartment. And then down through here, you have your pass-through storage. Slam latch doors, hopefully I can get this open with one hand. Beautiful. Strut assisted there. Access to pass-through storage. It is absolutely massive because it is a drop frame construction. And I think, I don't see like a light in here. So we're gonna go to the other side to kind of see more of this, but we'll leave this door open so we get good light coming through. 
Nautilus water management system in here, very clean, concise water management system, and you have a water filtration system built in as well. Down underneath the fifth wheel, you can see your drop frame underneath there. You're going to have a fully enclosed underbelly, so all your water tanks and water lines sit above the enclosed underbelly. So you have dump stations here for black and gray tanks, and this is likely going to be for your restrooms. Prepped to add side cameras on this fifth wheel. This looks like it's going to be a hydraulic rack and pinion style slide out. And then when you come along the back, see you have another dump station right there. And I just see something that says gray tank. So I'm thinking that's going to be a gray tank for the kitchen, which would make sense with this floor plan layout. Really nice looking black matte wheels. And these are some beefy endurance tires from Goodyear. These are a, where is it? There it is. A 255 85 R16 tire there so a nice good american-made goodyear tire and you have a cre 3000 suspension system so a improved suspension system as well come back around this way going to the back you have your 50 amp power connection here you're going to have your back cap here which is going to have prep to add a backup camera spot to attach the lipper retractable ladder there that'll be a third party accessory you would have to purchase and surprisingly, no reverse lights back here, just brake lights and no reverse lights on this fifth wheel. You have a 300 pound accessory hitch. You also have a little spot underneath here with this tube to store your sewer hose, spare tire down underneath here. And as we come back around this way, all of your slide outs look like they have been that rack and pinion style hydraulic slide. This is just an absolutely massive slide out. That is absolutely crazy. I mean, this thing just looks absolutely ginormous. It is insane. It is just crazy. This unit is solar ready, it says. So that makes me think there's no solar on the roof. I didn't see a solar charge controller either. So that, I guess, would make sense that it's just prepped to add the solar. Oh, no, here's your solar charge controller. So there must be solar on the roof already if we have this. Um, but that's going to be your solar charge controller there. Outlets there. You can mount a TV to this wall that would swivel out if you want to. And it is all climate controlled in here. You also have your auto leveling controls here on your campsite. So that's kind of nice. And normally you see that on the non-campsite. And then you can see it's just a very clean space in here. Even like none of your framing is exposed, which is not common whatsoever. Usually your framing is always exposed underneath here. So I kind of like that. And this is one of the cleanest pass-through storage compartments I've ever seen. So definitely interesting and definitely catching my attention. Flam latch doors there, awning over this space. So you'll have an awning that covers this entire exterior camping space. And you do have a little spot here that can be a latch for a leash and usually can be used as a bottle opener as well. Again, six point hydraulic auto leveling. You have a tinted glass entry door and that's pretty much everything on the outside. I don't think I missed too much, but of course, if I did miss something or if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. There's no ladder to get up onto the roof, so we can't get up there, unfortunately, but I, I wish I just knew how much solar was up there. That's really the big question I have on that. Um, right here, a couple interesting things to talk about. First of all, you have the more ride step above step. So a solid entry step. And then look at this. You have the tinted glass door, but this here is the Lippert latch extend. So instead of having to you know, find this handle right here and grab this handle. You actually can grab this at any point down there and it will open up the door. I really like that. This is the only thing I've seen that has that standard on it. So pretty impressive. And as we walk inside here, I just realized I did not even turn on any of the lights. So we're going to get the lights turned on as we walk in and hopefully we have power. Okay, I can see that we do. Real quick, while we are here filming with Heartland, I wanna take a quick second to ask y'all for a favor. If you've been here for a minute, you know I pretty much never ask for anything directly from y'all. And I'm going to right now because I've been working on something really hard that I'm really excited about. And that is the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. So Firmly Unbound is my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of freedom and exploration in work, play and faith and everything on the firmly unbound youtube channel that i've been working on is going to embody exactly what it means to live a firmly unbound lifestyle based on those principles i'm really excited about what is to come there it's going to be fun and exciting and it's going to be somewhat related to rvs but it's not going to be rv tours you're really going to like and enjoy it i know you will so go subscribe to that channel there is video content that will be coming soon and i don't want you to miss the first video so the one time I do want to come and ask you for something is to ask you to go subscribe to that channel. There's a link down below in the description and the comments of this video and look forward to seeing you there.
Uh, um, cool. All right, so as we walk inside here, let me close the door behind me. And look at this layout, y'all. There are obviously some very interesting things here to talk about with this layout. It is a rear kitchen model. And at first I was like, are y'all done putting it together? Or are you still waiting for some more furniture? They actually, from what all I can tell so far, from what I'm being told is this is the intentional design here to leave this space open as a spot to sit and hang out and have these huge windows here. This is essentially going to give you a floor to ceiling window. Let's open these up all the way so we can just really get the effect of that. So you're gonna have your dining table here off of your countertop in the kitchen. And then you just have this big open space that you can really do whatever you want with. If you wanted to put furniture there, you can. If you wanted to put a desk there, you can. If you want to leave it as just an open space for seating, you can. You can see the chairs here that it comes with. And it looks like that chair there folds up in some capacity. You do have an outlet down back in that corner. So if you wanted to plug something in. And it does have flooring that matches the flooring of the rest of the fifth wheel. So right away, that's like the first thing that just stands out so much. And I feel like we have to just open up these windows. It makes sense that they have them closed because of, you know, how hot that's going to make this unit having them open. But you got to get the full effect. I mean, take a look at that. You are going to be fully immersed into your camping experience there. That is just absolutely insane. Now, y'all let me know what you think about having something like this. If you're not super familiar with RVs, you do have to know windows are your most vulnerable point of, um, you know, heat and cooling coming in and out. And so the more windows you have, the harder it is to keep your RV climate controlled. So that is something that's definitely a consideration with a unit like this. Um, but I think it's great for certain climates where you're maybe not in extreme temperatures very often. Just really stinking cool. And we're going to come and start from the back and then work our way forward. So back here, you have this little tabletop space. This could be used for decor, for like a coffee bar setup, something like that. Although I don't see an outlet here in this area. So closest outlet is in the corner down here in the slide out. So probably just like a decor space, something along those lines. Window there, pull down blackout shades on your windows. Absolutely massive cabinet doors. Those are giant. And these are solid hardwood cabinet doors. Outlet down through here and then... Open this up and you have that there. Does this, this does remove. So you can actually take this out as well if you just want to have that be one big area there. No soft close cabinets, they just closed regular and open this up and space through there. These are just giant. I mean, this is going to be a huge pantry when you open this whole space up. That's crazy. That is a massive pantry space. Wow. Yeah, just look at that. That is crazy. Then right here, you have this Furion residential size refrigerator, but since it's Furion, I'm thinking it has to be 12 volt. Oh, wow, that looks really nice in size. Really nice looking. I'm gonna look and check just to make sure. It's gotta be 12 volt though. Uh, um, I don't look inside this panel very often, so I don't even know exactly where to look, to be honest. Um, yeah, I see 12 volt right here. Power source 12 volt. So that should be correct. Wow, that is just, I love the look of it too. It's like a brushed stainless steel and just has like a matte finish to it. Looks really nice. Open this up. You have your freezer portion with an ice tray and more down here. I will say I can already feel the heat with the sun hitting all these windows. I can feel the heat on my back. So definitely something to keep in mind. That is something where it is, it got warmer in here pretty quickly with all these windows open. Not like crazy, crazy warm, but I can just feel the warmth in here. I can definitely notice it. You have a really nice looking kitchen setup. This right here, I love this apron style stainless steel sink and it's like a, um, what's the word? Oh my gosh, I totally blanked on the word. Like a charcoal stainless steel. I love when they do the charcoal stainless steel, especially with a white countertop, looks really good. You have this industrial looking faucet that does detach there and you have the sink cover as well. You're gonna have storage all underneath this area, outlet there. You can see your storage space down underneath here. And down underneath here. Looks like they are running heating through the cabinetry that I could see there. So that would mean no floor vents if that's consistent throughout the whole unit. And you can see storage space back in through here as well. 
open this up you got some storage space there some shelves as you can see you're doing a black and white contrast so black cabinets here in the island and then we had white cabinets for the pantry you have a nice big suburban stove and oven so this is the suburban elite series three burner stove here with the glass cooktop you have a uh, stick on kind of fake tile backsplash there standard rv not rv size sorry standard residential size microwave storage space up there and storage space underneath the oven plus just about as big as the biggest oven you'll get, but not quite. It's still a large oven there with that Suburban Elite Series and giving you additional storage underneath. So this is your kitchen space. Then you have your table here. The table is a solid surface table. And you can see here it is legless, so it is just mounted to that sidewall. You have a spot to eat. And then you go to the living room and you're going to have this nice seating arrangement where you have pull-out sofa there that will make into a bed. And then this here should be two recliners. Yep, these are both recliners. So pull that strap there. You are gonna have to pull them a little bit further off the wall to lay them back all the way, but right now they're pushed all the way up against the wall, so they will not lay back. They do have the capability too, you just gotta pull them out. I like this furniture color too. It's really nice looking. It really matches, you know, those elements in the kitchen well, I think. So I like what they did there. Cup holders and USB port here in these push out armrest and then across from here you have two more recliners with a big armrest there interesting because they could have done you know a sofa here but i like the idea of the recliners so you lose the sleeping capability going with the recliners so i'm curious if y'all would have preferred to see a sofa here or if you like the idea of having the recliners here again sofa is going to give you the ability to make it into a bed for additional sleeping but sometimes that's not preferred on a floor plan like this because you would be blocking the entryway into this space anyways if you had this made into a bed so two more recliners here and you're going to have storage in the armrest on this one and you'll have the same pull out cup holders in a uh, USB charging port there. This is just a little tabletop space and again we just oh just have to appreciate these windows here. It's just absolutely insane. Um, last couple things in this area your slide out boxes are ginormous so they are huge. I don't have all the lights on here yet. The light switch there. These have to be like at least seven feet tall. I mean, easily walk into those slide out boxes. Same thing on this one too. Some of the tallest slide out boxes I have seen. That's part of what allows them to do that with the windows. And then this here looks like this is at least a 60 or 65 inch screen TV. So getting that bigger TV there, bigger than the 50 inch screen TV. If you walk into one that has a bigger TV like this and go walk into one that has a 50 inch screen TV, that 50 inch screen TV starts feeling real small real quick. Have a fireplace down underneath here. This is going to be an electric heat source for you so you don't have to use propane to get heat out of this. And this is gonna help just heat up this area that the fireplace is in. You have a Furion sound bar here controlling your sound zones and you have some storage up above this space here that is shelved out. Magnet latches on your cabinets, I like that. And then here you're gonna have your half bath. Let's figure out how to get some lights on in this area as well. Half bath with a bowl sink, porcelain foot flush toilet with room on both sides of that toilet. Going to have lots of storage space through here. Very, very nice. Medicine cabinet, deep shelves in there as well. So good storage with that. Again, bowl sink, countertop here. This is a solid surface countertop and storage underneath there. Also have an outlet in here and you do have a vent fan up in here with AC ducting. Oh, you know what? That's actually interesting. There is ducting in here. So that's one thing that's, you know, to be mindful of, you do have the vent fan in here, can't control the vent fan, but no AC ducting in here. So when it's, you know, relatively hotter outside, you may want to leave that door open a little bit potentially. Um, they also are really promoting this new Trio airflow system. This, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about it, but you know, it looks like it's claiming that it's gonna send air more in a 360 degree motion and is more efficient and is blowing more air out of these vents. You can see what the vents look like. What I can see right away is you have vents pointing this direction, this way, and vents pointing this direction that way. So I'm not sure exactly how that equates to a 360 degree motion, but from what they're promoting here, it seems like the airflow is pretty good in these fifth wheels. 
This here, you're gonna have all your controls and you gotta point out, you do have tank heaters. So you have 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks as well. You have your tankless on demand water heater controls right here. And then as we go up into the bedroom, um, not a, this is not a slide out. It almost feels like it is though, cause it's so spacious. You have a coat closet here with some hooks, some shelving, and some storage space down underneath here. Actually, these are breakers and fuses, sorry. And then you have two steps here with some space underneath the steps, motion activated lights to the left of those. And as we walk into the bedroom, again, no lights on in here, but let's change that real quick. If we can find a light switch. I know these are gonna have individual lights there. Ooh, it's backlit, okay, okay. I see the backlit headboard, that looks nice. Here's your other switch right there, there we go. Okay, so here's what your bedroom looks like. I really like just leaving it with just the backlight on the headboard. I think that would look really good. But this is a king size bed, storage underneath the bed. See under there, you have some additional chairs too. And then pull that back down. This is going to be a super standard RV mattress that is certainly gonna be something you wanna upgrade. And then no bedside tables on this model here. So you have outlets on both sides and USB ports up next to the windows but you don't have any sort of bedside tables in this fifth wheel that we're looking at here. AC here in the bedroom, you can see it's dual ducted as well. So that's gonna mean you have AC vents coming out and ducting coming down this way and out of this side coming this way. So good airflow that you'll get in here. Have some wardrobe storage in here, but most of your storage is gonna be up in the bathroom. Spot to put a TV on the wall. Also can install a Wi-Fi router right there if you want to have a Wi-Fi router on board can see some of your shelving here. And I would assume this has to be symmetrical on the other side. I don't wanna take time opening every single cabinet. It looks like it's exactly the same. And this drawer here, have a pullout drawer and pullout drawer here with a little tabletop space as well. Windows have pull down blackout shades and as we go back into the bathroom, look at this bathroom y'all. Really, really nice look. A lot of countertop space. For having a dual sink setup, look at all that countertop space. That is crazy. And then you walk in here, wow, lots of natural light. This shower is huge. This is one of those showers you can fit like three or four adults standing side by side. It's that big. And when I step in here, ceiling height in here is probably about six foot five, six foot six, just from what I'm getting based. My head does touch the ceiling if I get up on my tiptoes. And I didn't even turn on all the lights in here. Okay, so when I step in the shower, yeah, ceiling height is probably like 6'3 to right here. My head doesn't touch it, so it's gotta be about 6'3. And then with this skylight here, you could be about 6'5, six, 6'6. Six, six. And you can see how big it is. I mean, there is plenty of room for you to have head space in here. And you have a light now in the shower. Um, These shower heads, this does sit a little low for me. So my head does look above this. And then you have the wand right here and two more shower heads here for your body. But a great size shower overall. This here, it looks like it's just kind of a stuck on panel and it is framed out and looks really clean as well. But really like the look of that shower and love the size of it. Porcelain foot flush toilet there, room on both sides of the toilet. And then you can see each person will get their own medicine cabinet, deep shelves again. Just really impressed by the countertop space. That is a ton of countertop space. Very impressive. Storage space down underneath here. Down under here. And this should be identical. Ooh, that was a soft closed drawer. Are the rest of the drawers soft closed in here? Did I miss something? I wonder if I missed that in the kitchen. I usually don't ever miss that, so I'd be surprised if I did. We'll go back and check them. Then you're going to have your closet space. So back in here, I already like what I'm seeing. Yeah, oh, deep storage through here. Magnet latches on these hold those shut well. So deep storage through there. And then we're going to have to get these lights on so we can really see three lights in here, have some shelving built in. Like how they did that, it is carpet lined in here. You can walk into this closet and it does have prep to add washer and dryer here on this side there. So you will be prepped to add that washer and dryer. You have outlets in here as well. And then nothing really on this side, just open closet space. They do have this, uh, they do add a support beam here. So you do have that extra support beam and that's gonna help so that 
clothing rod does not sag on you as you load that up with clothes. And that is just about everything on this Heartland product that we are in here. This is the Bighorn model. I totally forgot the model number. Let's go look. It's the Bighorn 3820 RKFB. I really got to figure out if there's soft closed drawers in the kitchen. That's just something I have to know. But what do y'all think? As I'm going to look at this, y'all let me know what you think about this fifth wheel here. That's why there's no drawers in here. That's why I was confused. Okay, so no drawers. Really the first drawer we saw besides the big drawers in the bedroom was I guess in the bathroom. But yeah, so let me know what you think about this Heartland Bighorn. It is definitely different. You're not gonna see anything else that has this out there in the market for 2024 that I have seen. And I feel like over the last couple weeks I have seen literally dang near everything. So I'm pretty confident in saying this is going to be the only product you will see in 2024 that is going to have something like that. Very curious your thoughts. So let me know what you think. And then if you haven't already, go subscribe to the Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. I'm really excited about what's to come over there and you're going to love it. So go check out that channel and subscribe to it because there is video content coming that you're really gonna love. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.